oh, 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 snap, dude, what's happening, man, it's there, got range, we back, we back in action, man, welcome back, range family, you know, join the range family, the range gang, by hitting that subscribe button, you know, because when you join this gang, man, it ain't no way to escape, man, it ain't no way to escape unless I boot your ass out, man, unless I boot your ass out, because I don't like you, but, shoot, let's get into this story time, dude, uh, fuck, this story time, y'all see it in the title, man, it's about, <laughs> I hate this. I really hate bringing this up because it was a bad experience, dude. It was a crackhead prostitute. I got robbed by her. But uh, let's get let's get into this. Let's just get to the story, dude. So, background info, man. This had started. This occurred to me when it was eighth grade year. It was eighth grade year, and it was like it had to be. It was a warm day because of what the girl was wearing to make me justify and judge her by saying she was a prostitute so it had to be a warm day i believe it, it was something listen it wasn't spring break but we was getting into spring so it's starting to get a little bit warmer you know getting to that summer real soon so it was a warm day it was about to be getting on spring break so eighth grade year about to be on spring break it was one of the last few days of school before break started and me and my dude famous k we was planning on we went to the same elementary school and whatnot we was in the same from the start, you know, like from kindergarten, I've known the dude since kindergarten, and uh, we went to the same school, so it was like, dude, me, me and him, famous K, man, we was just chilling at school, and we had actually planned to go to the library after school. When we went to the library, man, this is what we saw. <laughs> this is what we saw the dude. Like I said, dude, because he looked like a dude. Like prostitutes, they be overdoing their makeup. They be just wearing some flamboyant stuff, some stuff that just is not matching. This is just crazy, man. They just try to get themselves attention. It's like we plan to go to the library, so it was just a one normal regular at school day. And uh, we was, you know, after school we had plans to go to the library. I was able to walk. My house was just so close to the school that it took me about like 15 minutes to walk home, but it was just close enough where I was able to walk home. And then down the street from my house was also a library, so the public library of my neighborhood. So we had went there and planned to go there because there was some, we actually had some friends, some friends that were girls that was going to be at the library. So uh, when we went to the library, we had actually ran into this crackhead prostitute. Now I'm saying she's a crackhead prostitute because she was cuckoo in the head, my nigga. She was just crazy in the head. So it was like, dude, I don't know, I don't know. We had ran into this crackhead prostitute. And she was just like, just saying random stuff, just screaming out loud. It was like she was on the corner just being, like, gathering all the attention. That's what prostitutes do. They want to gather your attention for being a prostitute. But she was just doing it by being a crackhead. Like, she was doing it out of non-intentional, non-intentions, man. She was doing it because she was just, cra she was off the crack, my dude. She was off the meth, my dude. So, it was like. We we tried to we tried to avoid me and famous K. We was walking to the library. We she she set us back. That was a setback when we was trying to get to the library. We knew like we was gonna get to this library late, and it was like, dude, we ran into this crackhead prostitute. We tried to avoid man. We tried to we tried to walk across the street, get on the other side of the street, and then we we get when we get past the crackhead, we would just go back on the side where we were supposed to be. Nah, we tried to avoid and it just wasn't happening. So we tried to walk past her and that wasn't really, that wasn't happening, man. She really set us back. She stopped us. She was asking for cigarettes. And it's like, looking at us, do we look like we smoke cigarettes? Do we look like we smoke cigarettes, dude? So it's like, we said no. We tried to move on with our day. And she just kept asking us questions. You could look in the corner of her lips, dude. And you'll see like some white residue. Like, that shit ain't cool, dude. That ain't cool at all, man. So, it's like, that white residue, it really turned me off, man. That wasn't cool at all. The, the girl was a turn off in the first place. But, that stuff wasn't cool. So, we tried to walk past, you know, we just we tried to move on with our day and get to where our goal was, man. We tried to get to our destination. Because going to the library, that was pretty much like a thing. And, like, we would work on homework there. We would just, you know, talk there with our friends. It was just a hangout spot. But nah, we got we got a little setback right here because this crackhead prostitute want to go ahead and ask us stupid questions and want to look ugly, do a little white residue in your corner of your lips, and then you asking for cigarettes and whatnot. So that stuff, you know, like we try to avoid this stuff, 
but it just wasn't happening. So again, like I said, I asked us for cigarettes. We tried to get past. It's just everything is going wrong at this moment. And she had got a little too close. She had got a little too personal to us. So it's like we tried to back up a little bit. And, you know, she got a little, a little, little too per a personal. She got too close to me. And I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a little nervous on the inside. I'm getting the little butterflies in my stomach, my dude. I'm getting moths in my stomach right now, dude. And she getting a little too personal, you know, like touching distance to me. I'm like, wait a minute now. I ain't finna, I ain't finna get violated right here in these busy streets, man. I ain't finna get violated in public, dude. So it's like she getting a little too close. Then all of a sudden, I, I get hit. I get hit. Like what the? I, how I get hit, dude? And like, what you just hit me for? I ain't get knocked out, but she ended up stealing my little wallet. I ain't had no Luckily, I had nothing in this wallet, but she ended up going in my pocket and stealing my wallet, dude. She stole my wallet. I ain't, again, like I said, I luckily had nothing in this wallet, but she not kind of knocked me out. Like she hit me hard enough to get on the ground. I was just dazed for a moment. I was just shook for a moment. Like, what just, what's, what, what you just hit me for? Like, what just happened? By the end of, the, by the end, by the end of that minute, I'm like, what the heck? Where my wallet go? And the girl just ran off of my wallet, and I'm like, no, like I said, luckily there was nothing like too crazy in that. Well, I ain't have no ID or no driver's license at this time. We in eighth grade. I ain't have no money. I probably just done got that wallet. I ain't put nothing in that yet. So luckily, she just stole a new wallet off of me, man. I, paid a little bit for that but it's all good because i got me a new wallet today and um my new wallet thick with band so you know it's all good but i got my, she knocked me out and robbed my wallet now what the the thing is is that this is a crackhead prostitute they do this stuff for money so when she robbed my wallet i kind of realized once we got to the library and we had told our friends what we ran into and while we a little bit while we like five minutes late we had told her like we had told our friends like we got i got robbed i got hit i got knocked out by a, pro a crackhead prostitute you know that girl you know that girl betsy off the, on the corner she knocked me out that's that's what it went down to man it's just like the crackhead prostitute i i ain't trying to i ain't trying to run into her again because honestly i'm finna give me some i'm finna give me some nightmares if i see her again because oh she's just so butt ugly she ugly as hell dude and i don't like that she got my wallet nothing in it you was expecting money because you a prostitute it's like this stuff it's, it's honestly it's a crazy amount of events that happened in that day we got to the library and we was all chill but it's like damn my wallet is really gone she really stole my wallet you could have it because there's nothing in it but you stole my new wallet that i bought dude you robbed me from my wallet with nothing in it so at the end of the day man i took a w because i ain't lose no money but i did take a l because i got knocked out by a prostitute a crackhead prostitute with your wife she was just screaming out random like slurs and words and whatnot she was just screaming out noises like what the heck you know you will you know you won't cry you want some drugs or something but anyways, dude, that's the end of this story time. Thank y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Again, join Range Gang by subscribing and drop a like on this video so I know that you guys enjoyed it, man. Stay tuned on my channel for more shit to come out, dude. It's that guy Range, and I'm out, dude. Peace.